what is happening guys we just found an basically an untouched student accommodation facility which started life as an old bungalow by the look of it and has been extended converted modified to cram as many students in here as possible but everything's left behind too So, I'm with Michael again. You know his feet by now. So we're gonna show you through and uh, suss this place out. It's a huge place, guys. So this is the, um, well, it's actually the front porch, but you can see there's actually a fair bit of mold coming through too. And Lots of beds, lots of things left behind. Yeah, this is the front porch. As you saw from the uh, little shot at the start, that's the front yard out there. Um, this room here is a bedroom. The door's over there, and that's the only door that was locked in this main part. There's actually a, a part out the back too that we'll walk around and try and get in, but um, this is a bedroom, this window's open. Nice old fireplace there. There's a cool old 70s skateboard in there too. 70s reproduction one. So we'll head in to the main part. Have a look. Yeah, that's the door to that bedroom, and it's locked. From the things we've seen so far, it looks to be Asians, Asian student accommodation. Another TV cabinet, little one. And there's mattresses and things everywhere, so I reckon they were trying to cram as many students in here as possible. And we've seen that before in a couple of other places. Another big fireplace there, it's been covered up though. Oh, that's a, uh, that's one of those virtual I don't, know, I don't know what that is. Some sort of eye protection mask. Looks like a new age version of um, Jason Voorhees. <laughs> Neutrogena. I don't know. Tell us in the comments what that thing does. It's like a face mask. Oh, it gives um, infrared light, does it? I don't know. Neutrogena, so it's a beauty product of some sort. Adidas. Nope. 
empty. Go down here. Oh, heaps of more junk in here. Next, oh, there's a huge mouse trap there. Oh, kind of stinks in there. There's some chocolates. Bathroom. Another bedroom. These bedrooms are actually pretty spacious. But there's an entire back section that's been extended with it's kind of like a dorm dormitory. And They've officially been a business because there's the compulsory exit sign. Two fridges. I'm not going to open them. Don't really want to know what's in there. to the kitchen. Noticed a lot of this um, bodybuilding supplement sitting around too. There was some in that room that was locked as well. See, there's things in here that almost look like that, um, they have not, it hasn't been too long since they've left, but there's other areas where it looks like that this place has been deserted for a fair while. And judging by that, I think the power might be on. it is <laughs> okay I wasn't expecting that um, yeah walk-in pantry there pretty big one too check it out Yeah, lots of um, Oriental, Asian things everywhere. Little table. Still got some biscuits there.
see that section there is like a dormitory and I'll take you through there in a sec guys we'll check out the bathroom first there's the toilet you can't even open the door properly because of the toilet and bathroom and laundry <coughs> shower probably was a washing machine there that goes out to the back section look at that weird lock though guys looks like a screwdriver you need a key as a key This room is just chock a block. So this looks like this room was just the uh, junk room, or this is a room where they've just shoved everything that got left behind. Either way, there's a crap load of stuff here, toys as well. some 70s doors there 60s 70s yeah check this this is the weird part it's almost like ward damage has set in this is the new part see there's a new brick part this is an extension a deliberate um, extension to accommodate students but all the ceiling panels are on the floor from this hallway really weird So you check it out. Classic dormitory accommodation. board another one I've lost count of how many beds I've seen, guys, but it would have to be a have to be home housed around 15 people so far. Another double bed. Yeah. I guess it's kind of proof that they just don't make the new structures like the old ones. And this door actually leads out to the back, 
where this seems. To be even more accommodation. Yeah, this section here is another self contained unit, but it's locked. This door was locked, guys. That's the door with the funny lock that goes into that laundry. So we've been in there. It's just this section here, guys. This section is also more accommodation, but it's all locked up. Yeah, there's only one way in there too. Basically I've showed shown you guys all that we can access. So I'll wrap it up as I walk back into this main area. Pretty cool place isn't it guys? Started off as this beautiful old bungalow. This section here. And not sure what its fate is. I'd say it's going to be demolished. Doesn't look like there's any salvage process started yet, though. So who knows? Who knows what's going to happen with this, guys? We did find another one that was in the same sort of limbo state. That was um, Asian student accommodation. So your guess is as good as mine. Anyway, jump in the comments, let us know what you think, guys. And, thanks for watching, on to the next one. Cheers, guys, bye.